Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. And as you can see, I have already started on my Loom project for today. So happy Loom Knit Thursday. But before I get to that, if you notice, I am wearing Star Wars. Yes, Star Wars. We all know that I have my Star Wars tree, but I also have a lot of Star Wars gear. And the reason why I'm wearing Star Wars today is because today is Star Wars Day on my son's channel, gaming channel. And it is a sub of Planet J. Judah, or we're the mother channel. <laughs> Planet J. Judah is the mother channel of my son's gaming channel, which is Planet J. Judah's Let's Play. Or Let's Plays. Anyways, today is Star Wars Day, and he also said happy anniversary. He did a shout out to us because today is also Daryl's and my 27th wedding anniversary. It is also my mom and John's wedding anniversary. It would be their, let's see, 38th. They were married in 85. So, yes, yes, this is their 38th, and this is Daryl's and my 27th wedding anniversary. So, happy anniversary, Mom and John. Love you. Happy anniversary, baby love. I love you so much. We have been through so much. All, all of us have been through so much, and we've persevered. We've stayed the course. We've stuck together, <laughs> as you should, in a good relationship. Anyways, that aside, um, thank you, Jared, for the the um, anniversary shout out. And if you're interested in gaming, go to the link below. I will click. I will post today's video in the description box below to the Star Wars Part One. Um, I forget which exact Star Wars game it is, but you'll see it. You'll see it. Anyways. Back to Loom Knit Thursday. So I have been showing you um, stuff on my round looms and I bought these rectangular looms um, probably about a year ago and I actually have never opened the package. I thought I had, so when I started opening it and had <laughs> major difficulty, I was like, oh, I've actually never opened this. So I thought today would be a good day to start doing with the rectangular loom. And I was, I will definitely be posting the link to the video or the tutorial that I am getting this scarf from. And I apologize. I don't remember the channel, but I will put the name of the channel right here. And then obviously the link to the actual tutorial will be in the description box below. I am intimidated because I don't know, does that look intimidating to you? It did to me just from the thumbnail for the tutorial. I was like, Ugh, I don't know if I can actually do that, but clearly you can see I've gotten this far. Um, it is at least this stitch is surprisingly simple and literally it's just figure eights going back and forth and it creates this beautiful now I'm not sure what you would want to be the front or the back but this is absolutely gorgeous I would consider this probably the back but I love this it's beautiful and then this is the other side, which looks more like a, a knit, a knit stitch, but I'm liking the, the back. Would that, that, that would be considered a purl stitch? I don't know, but isn't that gorgeous? So this is part of a Christmas present. So I'm going to have another Christmas present, hopefully done today. Um, if this is not posted, <laughs> Because this has actually taken me quite a bit. But if this is not posted um, until tomorrow, then it's posted tomorrow. Anyways, um, I'm loving this. And what am I using? I am using Red Heart Super Saver Silver. Or actually, it's light gray in the metallic. 
and then Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo, and it is, I want to say newsprint, newspaper stripe. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, and I'm loving, as I'm trying to get it back down there, I'm loving this, the look that it's giving, and yeah, I love this, and I love the silver in it, so, and it's, it's just got enough, come on, sparkle, I mean, it looks really sparkly, but it's not like overwhelmingly sparkly, I don't know. It's not wanting to show the sparkle. Let's see. Maybe this side. There you go. Now you can kind of see some of the sparkle. You do see the sparkle on both sides. Um, I don't know why it wasn't. It, it's hard to pick up on camera. It's definitely a lot more sparkly in person or in real life. So, um, but it is absolutely, I am loving this. It's a very squishy uh, scarf and I can't wait to finish it. I am intimidated still by it and I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm doing it accurately. I mean, it's coming out. So hopefully I know this is, should this be my a Christmas present? I don't know. Yes. It's, it's still going to be a Christmas present. It's coming out beautifully. Even if I'm not doing it a hundred percent correctly, it is coming out beautifully. But anyways, without further ado, I will go ahead and continue on. And in a little bit, I will definitely bring you up a little closer, but, um, oh, and the hook has a little thingy so that it doesn't stab people or get caught up in the yarn. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing and then I will bring you down if I don't drop everything. I will bring you in for a close up so that you can see what I'm doing better, but I want to get as much of this done, um, so that I can have it posted today. It is 2.30. I've been doing this for a little bit, um, probably a couple, a few hours I want to say. But I am still, you know, this is, it's very intimidating and I'm not sure that I'm doing everything correctly, but, oh, oh, why do you have to be difficult now? There we go. And what's so funny is it seems pretty tight, like there's not much give when I try to put it down, but when I put the um, bottom loop over the top loop, those loops are get super loose. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's how it's supposed to go. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Cause this is my first time doing the rectangular um, looms, but since it's been consistent this whole time, I'm thinking that that's how it's supposed to be. Um, I don't know if you've done, if you've worked on rectangular, rectangular looms, let me know. Am I doing it right? <laughs> uh, anyways, let's continue on and we will see, I will bring you down in a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and work this up a few for a little bit and speed up the, um, uh, speed up the video. And yeah, cue the music.
Alright guys, so here I am. I'm bringing you down. Do I look as awkward as I feel? Because I feel totally awkward. Anyway, so what we are doing is a simple um, figure eight. And let's see. Gotta get it from the right angle. There's my first figure eight. And then we just work it all the way down. Oops, there we go. And yeah, this is, it's simple, but also difficult in my mind. Because I have to keep remembering what, where, which way to go first. And it's always towards me. And then you simply knit off. Now, oops. I need to take off my little doohickey. I stopped for a moment. <laughs> Alright, so to knit off, I sent, I, for me, I've been going kind of from behind to make sure I scoop up both. Now, if you have just a single strand, then it probably won't be as difficult. But I want to make sure that I have both. And I just bring it over. Now, this side, it becomes a little looser because I already started the other. Oops. And be mindful of um, both strands if you are doing two strands of yarn that you get both over because I have missed one and had to start all over. Thankfully, I was at the very beginning, so it, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. But, yep, I just kind of scoop it over. Can I see? Let me get in there. My goodness. It was being difficult. I'm not using my light because it makes it harder for you guys to see, I think. But it's definitely harder for me to see without using my neck light. So once you get all the way down, then you need to um, start pushing down uh, the top strand, obviously. Oops, got caught there. And the reason why I use my hook to do that is because I have a lip and it makes it easier to unhook it from that lip, you know, that top strand from the lip because just trying to push it down, it doesn't, it, I'll show you. I'll show you in just a second, because I'm almost there. There we go. One more. Oops. Get over, there we go. All right, so the first two are generally pretty easy to push down. I don't have to use my hook for that. There. Actually, it's not being too difficult. That one was already down. But do you see how it's giving me resistance here? That's because, I don't know if you can see, there's that lip right here. And so I need to take it off of that lip. And that's what using my hook helps me with. And I try to do it from, because this side is already down, so I need to go this way and then this way and continue just like in the figure eight, because that makes it a little bit easier to pull it down. Oops. Well, I am still struggling, as you can see. Come on. Unhook from that lip. There we go. But it's a, that's pretty much it. That's all I'm doing 
right now. Um, I've watched the video once all the way through and then um, as I was starting, I would watch a little bit so that I could see what I was doing next. And then, uh, so I, I still need to watch, to watch my bind off. So, but anyways, I will continue doing this and hopefully I will get it done, um, before the end of the day and have a finished scarf. But I will let you go and come back when I am done and you can see the finished product. I might do a little bit, a couple more rows of this so that you can watch me. But of course I will speed it up. Make sure all of them are down. But that's what it's looking like. And this is what the scarf is looking like. I. I just think that is so pretty. And like I said, I like this side. I really do like this side better. It has a much more interesting um, detail, at least to me. But we'll see when it's all done. Yeah. So I'm gonna speed this up again and continue on. It is eight o'clock and I'm not done, but I will get it finished. This is where I'm at. Not pretty. I am loving how it's coming out. Um, I will get this finished maybe tonight for sure tomorrow and I will post it all finished tomorrow or when I get it finished, but that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, we stopped to have dinner and we watched our wedding video. So, you know, other priorities. <laughs> and if you saw my short, I shared um, a picture of us on our wedding day and re recreating that picture. Uh, but I'll post them right here. There you go. And anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have had a great day. If you did like the video, hit that th uh, like button. Give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Excuse me. Um, have you guys... Have you done the rectangle loom? Does does this seem in, intimidating? I mean, it's still I'm still wondering how I'm doing this. Like I'm sure there's mistakes in here, but fortunately, you can't really tell. So, I'm glad about that. Um anyways, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing and uh I lost my train of thought. Share the video. There you go. Share the video. And again, remember, gravity works, guys. Okay.